Well, this is a pleasant sight for me anyway. Getting a little bit of snow. It's Friday, December... What is today? 9th. Yes. 2016. Getting a little bit of lake effect snow. <clears throat> the pond's starting to freeze up a little bit in the back over there. Hard to see, but uh, had some cold weather. We got more coming. But I got something to show you in the shop here. And um, so, anyway, let's take a walk. Hopefully, we can. Wind isn't too bad here. But, uh, yeah, I got to get this project done so I can get my truck back inside. But, uh, anyway, I'll walk inside here and see what I got. Turn off my music here so YouTube doesn't get upset. Anyway, there she is. 1996 Polaris Classic. Detailed. My front end's aligned. I got my ski skins on. Those are really nice skins. They're just, those skis fit that like a glove. And they go down in and then they got a little bolt you put across the front. Kind of holds them in, and then there's a, uh, well, you can see the bolt here, here, and here. There's a wear rod that goes on the bottom that uh, holds the, the, the skin in place, along with that screw right there. So, pretty slick, and uh, they'll save skis, as well as it makes it slide a whole lot easier on the snow. But, uh, yeah, I was really impressed with the uh, way this turned out. I mean, last time you saw it, it was parked on the side there, covered with dirt. Because I hadn't had a cover on it all summer. So, yesterday we got the shop up to about 70 degrees in here. And uh, I painted the skis. Actually, I sandblasted them and then primered and painted them. And took them in the house last night to let them dry and uh, turned out pretty good so we should be good for a while before they start rusting again but uh, had to line the front end got that done and um, anyway it's hard, kind of hard to see but I got 53 45 miles the thing looks like brand new I mean you don't see many seats look that nice on a 96. I was just looking it over yesterday and was thinking how well somebody had taken care of it. The guy that I bought it off of obviously didn't do too good of a job, but uh, at least he didn't let it go so bad that it was, you know, he couldn't fix it. But I'll show you the underside of my hood. I got my muffler painted. And cleaned up the engine, of course, and we uh, added a little filter up here. It was gone. The guy that bought it off said the battery was dead, or it was shot and needed a new battery. Well, all I did was charge the battery up, and it sell it to charge all summer, so I stuck it in, and it works great. But, um, yeah, anxious to uh, get a little bit more of that white stuff out there, and we'll be able to haul it out and give her a uh, ride. But, uh, anyway, seat's got a few spots on it. I don't know what they are, but uh, I got a feeling that somebody dribbled starting fluid or something on it there that kind of spotted the seat up. But, yeah, maybe they'll go away. But, yeah, I cleaned this all up and put some, it's called new vinyl on it. And it uh, really makes it look good. But the problem is when you're riding, you got a nylon suit, and you get any kind of snow, and boy, does that get slippery. Ooh, that's hard to hold on to that seat. But it uh, sure looks nice when it's sitting still. Anyway, I'll start her up here. This is going to be a cold start. So set our choke, and uh, give it, make sure my throttle's 
working. We'll see what she does. fixated out here in my shop but um, anyway this one's next all dirty and cruddy and in some dire need of some TLC so we're gonna be pulling it out pulling skis off getting it cleaned up and just do some detailing on it hopefully I won't have to clean the carbs on it but uh, we'll see thanks for watching and uh, Maybe we'll get a video up here soon with do some actual writing. So stay tuned. Thanks for subscribing too.